Hey everyone, my name's Jeremy and I am going to give you an update after quite some time off on trusting the process and releasing to receive. Um, the last time I did a video was about a month or two ago and um, after giving myself some needed downtime um, from recording videos, I wanted to come and give an update. So releasing to receive and trust in the process. What has this whole thing been about? Why am I recording these videos? What is the intent behind it? Um, and what is my ultimate goal? Um, the intent is to be very transparent and be very vulnerable about trusting this process of life and allowing it to do its thing and being a self-aware participant um, and releasing things in the process in order to receive uh, what I desire. And what I desire is to fulfill my life purpose, which I feel is to help people operate at their highest potential through self-awareness. And with that comes circumstances and people with hidden lessons that have the intention of molding and shaping me to be ready for that purpose and that ultimate end goal. But again, uh, I have to be a very self-aware or conscious participant in the process without controlling the how or the when, just doing my part, which that in itself is super, super, super difficult to do, especially when we've been molded and shaped in our lives through the systems that we go through um, to just proactively get things done, be in survival mode, get it done, get it done, get it done. Right. I have to control the outcome. So I have to do everything necessary to put thing in my put things in my control. And um, just detaching from that is a whole process within itself. Thus, my journey with trust in the process and allowing things to unfold. Um, this video, I want to dedicate to releasing myself. I am my biggest hurdle. I am my biggest obstacle. And. I recognize that in this place of um, not being, quote unquote, exactly where I thought I'd be, although I don't have a firm grasp on the how and when things should happen, I'm still human, right? So I want an outcome, but fully releasing myself and not allowing um, things that I see, people that I see who may be flourishing in the way that I feel that I should be at this point, um, not to control me and or influence me. So I've deactivated my social media, um, deactivated Facebook, which I thought for a second Facebook automatically reactivated, but uh, made sure that my Facebook was deactivated, deactivated my personal um, Instagram account, and I have been trying to spend that time focusing on school and myself and really putting myself in a position to just be present, focus on what needs to be focused on and really um, just being or doing the best that I can do with what I have in the moment. Um, that, of course, doesn't mean that I do it without fault. I have my faults. Everybody's human. Everybody makes mistakes, but just maintaining a level of awareness that you have to make those conscious decisions. You have to not sit in front of a TV for hours. You have to not sit in front of a computer for hours. You have to not pick up the phone when certain people call or certain people text. That is very mentally draining, you know? And then on top of that, when you make commitments, i.e. school, you got to do what you got to do. You know, it, it. I could easily say, you know what? I'm good. I'll just withdraw, but um, that's that <laughs> human being picking back up uh, and not wanting things to, uh, <clears throat> how should I say, not wanting to give up, you know, when you commit to something, but I digress. Uh, so releasing myself, uh, trying to control the process, trying to control uh, the outcome procrastinating and over obsessing about stuff like that. That's difficult. It's not easy, but 
the way that I'm overcoming that is forcing myself to be present and in the moment. So putting myself in situations where I'm out of control. So for example, um, I'm obviously back in Texas now. So uh, I purchased a ticket to the DART, which is a light rail that takes you around and about Dallas and purchased the afternoon pass and just got on the DART rail and just literally just rolled the entire thing. Um, I don't have to be aware of driving. I, of course, have to be aware of my surroundings just to be safe because I did go at night, which I probably shouldn't do. Um, and just allowing myself to be in a place of just freedom. Um, and what that did is it disrupted the pattern of me controlling the outcome, the how and the when. Like I couldn't control how fast the dark or the light rail went, um, couldn't control where it went. Um, I couldn't control anything about it, just myself. Um, and what I felt that did was disrupt the pattern of anxiety because I'd been over obsessing about a few things, specifically with school. Um, and I felt like I was trying to measure myself up to things that I shouldn't. And thus, I was not in the best mental space. All right. So. You know, it's it's important to give yourself grace, and I'm glad that I'm doing that. I did some meditation. Actually, I stayed in bed for a lot longer than I typically do, and I did some meditation for about 45 minutes. Um, I did some, uh, I used my singing bowls. I picked those up for the first time in a couple of weeks, which was great. And I could immediately look around and just see that, okay, I'm starting to settle into the present moment. I see, I hear, I feel a difference. And I appreciated that. And this whole notion of even though I know that I may not have been in the best place, I trust that. I trust this as a part of the process. And I know that in me stepping into survival mode to get things done over the past couple of weeks and months, um, that it's still a part of the process. I trust it. And in coming to this place of awareness and reflecting over things, I recognize that I have to release myself. So if you take anything from this video, I hope that you take away, uh, we can be and often are our own biggest hurdle. And it's up to us to pull ourselves into the present moment through grounding exercises, examine the circumstance and the people within it and look for the deeper meaning uh, or the deeper lesson and apply it to our lives so we can go forward. I hope that you took something positive away from this video and have a great day.